So since being released into the game, Jean has become a staple of both paid and free-to-play formations for every type of rebel leader, and that makes her one of the most important commanders in the game outside of PvP, since rebel leader chests are the most fundamental cause of speed-ups and diamond income in the game. If we look at her passive stats, she looks very meh on the surface, with middling health and defense and low attack, but when you look at her skills and do the maths on what they actually do in practice, she's kind of insane to be honest. Her first and second skills are heals. There is a debuff cleanse on the second skill which really comes in use if used properly during difficult wearward memory stages and the like, but for rebels, it's only really the healing that comes into play. The fact she has two soft heals means that she can, up to level 4 rebels at least, she can solo heal your tank and keep them alive. But combined with her having decent enough passive health and defense, she can actually be the tank for everything up to level 4s, except level 4 spear rebels really. And having her as your tank is often ideal especially for free to play formations if you don't have the likes of Enzo, because it will allow her to get one extra rotation of her active ability off in a fight, because one, being on the front row means she attacks earlier and will start stacking might earlier because of that, and two, she'll be the one taking damage and that also generates might. I'll show you why this makes such a difference in a second. Her third passive ability is just a flat 150 strategy buff for all 6 commanders in the fight, so effectively 900 strategy for your formation overall. Strategy buffs the effectiveness of active abilities, so if you get this on the likes of Mengo, Meryl, Enzo, all at once against an Imp Rebel, it will make them do more damage, but the stat increases themselves will benefit from counter bonuses, so it will effectively multiply her buffs. That same concept will apply if you buff an Arya, Barret, Tyrion against a Spearman for example, and that is where Jean shines. She is a buffer, and it's the active ability that really does it. So this is an example of Jean as the tank. You can see as the fight starts the plus strategy on all 6 commanders from her third skill, and she gets her active off almost immediately after getting to melee range. You can see on the overlays just how much this active does. Even buffing one person, it gives more attack than Jean has herself at full equipment, gold, and rank 8, let alone on all 6 commanders. You can see that on all 6, it gives about 23,000 attack to your formation, before counter bonuses. To put that into context, there's not even a commander out there that has 10,000 attack passively. Even if you account for the uptime maths on the right, if you add that to her own attack stat, she goes well beyond that point herself in practice. And then this is her as a backliner, or just not as the tank, since Enzo has been introduced and is just so good with his passive ability that you want him actively taking damage if you have him. The buffs are still the same, but you lose 5 entire seconds of uptime and are active from the reduced might recovery, which makes a really big difference, about 2600 attack value lost throughout the fight just because she isn't the one taking the damage. Obviously since we have Enzo here, that trade off is worth it. But for free to play players especially, you want Jean taking damage for this very reason. The same concept applies with increasing like elite trials damage too. And that is why Jean is so good for rebel leaders.